Research focus in MS has moved from uh, the general understanding of the pathophysiology of multiple sclerosis into identifying progressive MS uh, triggers and um, what sort of governs um, the uh, disability uh, long term in these patients. Patients currently living with progressive MS need to be able to understand that there are a lot of people, um, both behind the scenes, uh, clinician scientists, scientists, all trying to make a difference in this field. Uh, they're working long hours, uh, exhausting every option, uh, as well as trying to make something happen that will make a, a difference in their quality of life. The Progressive MS Alliance has had significant impact even though it's, it's a very new alliance that has been formed. Um, in facilitating multidisciplinary approaches uh, to uh, very complex research question like Progressive MS, uh, both pathophysiology and treatment, um, I believe in the near future there will be a, a benefit to patients, a real bona fide benefit to patients um, that I hope that uh, the secondary and primary progressive MS patients uh, will appreciate uh, within the coming years. For the people living with progressive MS, um, I think that the message that I'd like to portray is that there is hope. And although um, no therapy uh, comes uh, and is facilitated um, and expedited really quickly, um, there, is, uh, a, there are a lot of fantastic scientists and clinicians that are working and collaborating together to make sure that the therapeutic outcomes that are, are given to them as options for the future um, are beneficial to them without significant side effects. What I want you to know is that a, a gift or donation uh, for research now uh, will impact millions of lives in the future.